Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're we'll getting a Coke oven, nice and made up, and we're also going to learn how to automate the lava wood. All right, so don't uh, you know, don't don't judge me, but um, in the comments, you know, people were kind of indifferent about the webcam, so I went ahead and got rid of the webcam um, just to just to be out there. Um, you know, it makes it a little easier on me as well. I don't have to worry about that along with everything else that I'm doing as well. But um, with that aside, uh, we have to uh, get this world uh, livable. So uh, we're the only people here, or we're the only person here, really. Um, and we kind of have to expand this. So um, I'm planning on uh, going through the immersive engineering once we get into a few things. Um, I was kind of looking at immersive engineering and looking at some of the stuff that it requires and it looks like it's not going to be too hard and I, I think the recipes are all about the same. Um, I don't know about power generation um, in this mod pack. I don't know uh, if all the recipes are the same. Okay, so this requires actually addition stuff. ADRF and I don't know how much the atomic reconstructor actually is and that's an advanced machine block tech reborn okay yeah so maybe maybe we're not going to be getting into much of actually <laughs> much of immersive engineering off the right off the bat but um, we are going to uh, definitely get there um, I found that uh, the best way that we're going to get a coke oven, which is going to be our next step, um, is going to be uh, probably automating it with um, the casting basin that we have right here. Go ahead and take that for now. I also made an uh, ingot cast. Um, and I actually need to go ahead and take this out. I don't think copper is going to b combine with iron. So I think I can uh, get away with putting a couple of copper in here. I want to make a copper uh, tool rod. I made a, instead of a copper tool rod, I used a iron tool rod. Um, and uh, using a copper tool rod will get you experience when you mine. So um, the more experience, the better. I can't complain about that. Hopefully it doesn't blend. I didn't think it did. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and make a tool rod out of it. Pretty sure the tool rod doesn't cost three but uh, We'll take that and I should be able to Come uh, change the, uh, the the tool out change it out There we go Okay, now we have well established and Where you gain additional experience and you st and I still have magnetic three so that's pretty nice. Also, I need to take this out. And there is another cast I would like to make, but I'll worry about it later. Um, for right now, we need to get lava, and I want to make... I was looking at uh, fluid containers. And um, the easiest, I can think, is going to be the uh, tank from Ender.io, simply because we can um, push and pull item, or pu push and pull fluids from it. Um, so, unlike other tanks, um, you can't push and pull from any side. So, this block you can. Um, and it's actually pretty cheap. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and use that. I do have a block of iron on me that I got just a little bit ago. Um, so, that'll be enough for us to get some iron bars. So, iron bars. And also, we're going to need um, a cauldron I think or not a cal cauldron a hopper sorry um, yeah we're definitely gonna need a hopper hopefully the hopper recipe has not changed oh old vanilla hopper okay it's aluminum okay so we have three aluminum um, totally not gonna be enough but we'll worry about that later we can do it manually for now. Um, I do need to get some of this stuff out. Uh, looks like one block 
and we can go ahead and put the casting basin back down for now. Um, I just want to get some of the stuff out so that we have it. Um, I can automate this, so that probably wouldn't be too bad to do. Oh, I didn't know that it automatically stops that. So that'll pour out, and then I want to get the copper out of there really quick. I don't know what a timer... Is this pretty expensive? No, it's not. Uh, wait. Yeah, it's not It's not expensive at all. We just need some redstone. So once we get this timer from Dark Utilities, it'll make things a lot easier. Make life a lot easier. So let's get our copper out. And I want to go ahead and get that bauxite in there as soon as I can. And there we go. And I can go ahead and throw bauxite in there, which is our aluminum. So uh, let's go ahead and go, or actually we need to get the, uh, get ahead of myself. We need to get the tank from uh, Ender IO, not the pressurized one, but this one. There we go. We have a fluid tank. We're probably going to need more than one fluid tank. Um, so we have one piece of iron that we're missing. You know what? One tank will be fine for now. Um, this is what we're going to use uh, later. But we have access to lava. I also changed the way um, the terrain animates. So it should be a little bit smoother now. There it goes. I, w I wonder if like uh, B damage is turned off because they don't seem to be aggroing too much. Yeah, they're not even causing damage. So I wonder why that is. I don't know. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves some lava here. Um, pretty simple since we have a wonderful pool of lava. How perfect is that? That it's like right here. Um, this should hold 16 millibuckets or 16 or 16,000 millibuckets or 16 buckets. So we're pretty good on that. And we'll have to come back and refill because we're going to need 27 coke uh, brick. And if we look at coke, where's it at? Um, blocks of coal. We need right here, coke brick. Um, it requires lava wood uh, and it requires four for two coke brick. So we're gonna need quite a bit of this uh, lava wood. It says we need 27, but really we, we, or we need 27, but we're gonna get 28. I wonder why that's burning over there. I guess it realized there's lava. All right, we're 14, two more buckets to go. And we will have ourselves 16. All right, and we should be able to break that and it does hold its contents. So we'll head back um, and we'll go ahead and get our wood. Ow, that, that must have been the B. Um, I did change this in the config. I wonder why it's not actually working. Um, it's not supposed to load chunks like that. Um, while... Wait, what do we got going? Oh, it's not supposed to load chunks um, that are near you like that, but maybe it's because uh, every time we go to the different worlds, it changes, but I don't know. Uh, I digress. Okay, so we have this. Now, I would love to get a hopper, but we don't have um, any aluminum, but we can go ahead and automate this without aluminum. So let's go ahead and take this. Um, we have our basin. We need to get ourselves some wood. And if we need 27, 28 divided by 2 is 14. So we're going to need 14 pieces of, well, no. 4 times 14. Right? So we're gonna need quite a bit of wood. Let's go ahead and uh, get everything we need. That should work. 
it's going to hold its contents. It's fine. All right, and uh, let's go ahead and set this up outside just temporarily um, so we can get this working. Okay, so what you do is you'll set this here and we are going to place the fluid on top and we'll configure this to push down below and it should push the atoms in. And as you can see, it filled it up. It's turning it into the wood we need. How cool is that? Now, if we had uh, hoppers, we could feed a hopper in on this side and a hopper to export on that side. But we don't have it right now, so we have to do it by hand. So I'll be back once I get all of the, uh, the uh, stuff I need. All right, so I just wanted to show this to you real quick. I went ahead and got some aluminum. That's what I spent most of my time doing. Um, by the way, it's really hard to find bauxite. I was caving for a pretty while, pretty long while, and uh, yeah, it's it's not very common. Um, but I did get enough. I, I actually have extra. But uh, I wanted to get these hoppers um, so I could automate this. So hopper on the side, and then I should be able to place a chest down here, place a chest up here, and if I put a hopper right here connected to that. Make sure that's draining into there. I can now stick all of my wood that I need in there. So I needed 56. I have five. So I need 51. Um, more. So that should go in here. It's actually going into the hopper. And when that's done, it pulls it out and goes into the chest. Pretty sweet. Actually, you probably don't even need the chests. Um, the chests are just a buffer. Um, you could probably just put it in here and it would just fill the inside of the hopper, to be honest. Um, but this gives me something to place it on. Yeah, this uh, this is actually working pretty good, pretty nice. So um, I should have enough when I'm done. Um, so that should be finished. Also, I have um, some more seared bricks in here. I also have seared blocks in there. So. Um, that's not a big deal That should be enough. I think a stack if not I have Some more grout. I might as well throw that grout in there as well. Um, I think my grouts in here There we go And I can just throw that in there and we should be good to go So I'll be back whenever we get everything we need for the coke oven so we can get that set up All right, so these guys are done 56 of them and uh, it looks like all of that was in. We were left with uh, two buckets of lava still, which is uh, pretty nice. So uh, we have a few more things to do. Let's go ahead and make the Coke brick. And we should be able to make a Coke oven. Don't need that. Why did that? And that should give us 28. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. Um, so I want to place it here. And it should be placed just like a regular Coke oven. Bam. That looks pretty good to me. Um, but we're missing one thing. Uh, we can't activate it yet. That's what we need a engineer's hammer for. Um, so I need more iron. There we go. And I'm gonna need some string. I think just two and a couple sticks. So the engineer's hammer is pretty simple to make. Bam, we have the engineer's hammer and now we can turn this into a Coke oven. How cool is that? Okay, so we've got that step completed. We are just about, I think, I think that is, I think that's it. We're done with uh, Stone Age. So all I have to do is get some coke. Let's turn this into blocks of coal. And bam, we're cooking. So we're going to get some creosote oil. We have a coke oven now. And uh, that's going to uh, be pretty nice. So um, hopefully you guys don't mind the uh, shorter videos. Um, I have noticed in my analytics that uh, it's basically saying you guys are watching about 10 minutes or so 
on average of videos. And I mean, that's coming from about 150,000 different people watching my videos. So out of 150,000 people, um, only, you know, you guys only watch about 30% um, at most of my videos. So um, I'm gonna cut the, uh, the time of the videos down. I'm gonna try and fit more good content in a smaller chunk of time. And uh, hopefully it'll save time on my end and it'll also save time on your guys' end on watching uh, these videos. So um, I know that uh, shorter videos tend, people don't tend to like uh, shorter videos with modern Minecraft for some reason, but uh, I'm gonna try my best to make it uh, some really good content for you guys. Since we have the Coke oven, we can go ahead and throw buckets in here. I kind of want to get my first bucket and that'll move us on to the next step of uh, what we're gonna do. So um, yeah, well, we got all of this done today. Uh, we got to show you how to automate and uh, kind of get this quicker. We're gonna definitely use these hoppers for some other stuff later on. Um, and there's some cool stuff that you can do with uh, the fluid tank. So the fluid tank's probably gonna be the best uh, bet for you guys um, getting started with, uh, with this. So uh, I highly recommend using that as your first tank. But, you know, uh, if you guys are enjoying this and uh, you guys are, are glad that uh, that I got rid of the webcam, <laughs> give this video a thumbs up. Um, if you're, you know, if you don't like the fact that I don't have a webcam, I'm sorry. Um, I might do my best in future episodes to change that. I am working on getting new equipment and stuff like that. So uh, in the future, things might be a little bit better. But uh, yeah, if you guys uh, are enjoying this, please don't forget to click that like button and also subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, also share this with your friends, people that uh, that may like this. I'll share it with them. Um, and as always, thanks for watching.